Welcome to story time. Today we are going to read Mrs. P. Knuckles' Vegetable Alphabet, art by Jesse Ford. A is for asparagus, which grows straight up from the ground. B is for beans. Some are yellow, purple, striped, and green. C is for cucumbers, which can be very tiny or very, very long. D is for dandelion. You thought it was a weed. In spring, you can eat the leaves. E is for eggplant, which is not really an egg. F is for fiddleheads, which are actually the sprouts of tiny ferns. G is for garlic. Without it, food would be rather boring. H is for horseradish, which grows underground and can be really spicy. I is for iceberg lettuce, a fresh green ball of crunchiness. J is for chikama, which sounds like hikama and is delicious eaten raw. K is for kale. Kale comes in curly, straight, and dinosaur. Roar! L is for lima beans, which are a lot of work to peel, so you should eat all of them. M is for mushroom. This fungi counts as a vegetable, especially when it's on a pizza. N is for nasturtium. It's a flower, silly, but you can eat it too. O is for okra. It's gooey in soup and gumbo, but crispy when fried. P is for peas. Bunnies like peas a lot, particularly peas in Mrs. P. Knuckle's garden. Q is for queen bee. For her, the worker bees spread pollen, which plants need to grow food for us. R is for radish. They grow quickly in the spring and comes in all shapes and sizes. S is for squash, of which there are 100 large plus small. You can eat the seeds, flowers and all. T is for tomato, which is a fruit, but most people think it's a vegetable. It's not. Oh, that tricky tomato. U is for underground, where many things live and most things grow. V is for vegetable. Vegetables are good for everyone. W is for watercress, that grows wild near the water. X is for exactly zero, which is exactly how many vegetables starts with X. Y is for yams, which look like a sweet potato and can grow up to 5 feet long. Z is for zucchini. Just one seed can grow enough zucchini to feed a whole neighborhood. It's fun to share. Thanks for listening to my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like and share and you have a great day. Bye-bye.